Hi, uh, just to give you a little bit of information about uh, um, Shalim Declaration Day, which is uh, celebrated on May 10th, and they signed this document in 1911, and it was um, our, I want to get this, I want to say 11 chiefs, but I don't know why 13 is coming to my mind, but and say all the chiefs of the nation, which is 11 nations. And um, Liltwad is part of that, part of Shtatliam nation. And just to give you a really good perspective of what it was like to be an, uh, an, ind an indigenous person at that time was that First Nations people lived on, in their territories. And Shtatliam Nation actually has a really large, large land base that we lived on because there was 11 nations and we were responsible for taking care of that land. And so we lived on it. We had many protocols that we lived by. People who, specific people were caretakers of specific locations and knew everything that was on that land they knew the seasons of the plants. They knew when things started and when things ended. They knew what animals were traveling through their land, what animals lived on their land, uh, all the medicinal plants. Uh, they knew everything about that piece of land that they were caretakers of. And there was specific ways of, of uh, sharing um, resources because not everybody would have specific things, um, you know, things in their territory or their land they took care of. So when um, the Canadian government made this rule that native people were not allowed to leave reservations. So at that time, and I still live on a reservation. So um, at that time, there was a law that you, uh, an, an Indian would have to ask an Indian agent to leave the reservation. And they would have to have a note written. And oftentimes they were only allowed to leave for maybe 24 hours or 48 hours. I don't remember. It was a really short amount of time. And so and if they were caught off reservation um, with not the right paperwork or they passed the time when they had to return back, they could be put in jail. And they were not allowed to um, go hunting um, off the reservation. They were not allowed to go off reservation to gather food or anything. And also, they, if they were to go hunting, like off reservation, they'd have to get permission and a note stating that they were allowed to. And then they were only given one bullet. Isn't that silly? Then the Canadian government turned around and said, um, because you are not living fully on your land, it's now our land. And so this the Stadlium Declaration states that we had never ever given up our land. And so what does, you know, and it's a beautiful document and I'll send this along with the video as well so that you guys can read it in class and to know that, you know, this is um, Little Wat is, this is our home, this is our land and, and we have never given it up. And so it's a beautiful day and it's meant to be a celebration of, um, you know, that this is our place. We are still caretakers of this place. So thank you so much. <laughs>